Peace. It's Melanie. Happy Saturday and welcome to what I burned slash melted this week. So I'm going to be sharing with you what was going on in my house in terms of home fragrance for the past week. Sorry, I have to move the camera. All right, so I'm going to dive right in. I have lots of things to share. The first thing I'm going to say is that I am burning Homeworks Autumn Wreath right now downstairs in my entryway. Um, I did do a review of that. That is one of the new Harry Slacken brand candles that I recently purchased off of QVC. It, it is now sold out, um, so you can't get it anymore, unfortunately. But if you do want to watch the in-depth review, I'll link it down below. Also, what I will link down below is my thoughts on the Campfire Donut from Bath & Body Works. I did a review of that last Sunday. I brought the lid up to remind myself that I'm also burning this one downstairs right now. The more I burn this candle, the more I really do enjoy it. And it's actually getting stronger towards like the end of the candle. I think I'm going to be able to burn this one the whole way down. Um, the throw is now like a solid seven, seven and a half. Um, it was a little bit lighter when I first started burning it. So that's, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It is a very unique um, foodie gourmand type candle in that it's not my typical sweet fall pie, like candy type extravaganza. It just, it's, um, it smells kind of like baking bread. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Has a, a slight touch of sweetness to it, but not much. Um, again, watch that in-depth video, but I am burning that down below. Um, in my kitchen so that's what I have going down on downstairs in terms of home fragrance right now also you will see an in-depth review of this bad boy tomorrow so stay tuned for that this um, this bad boy being the Swan Creek La Le 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 Petit Macaron um, if you loved raspberry peach macaron from Bath and Body Works you should watch that, watch that video Mm. It's not a dead on dupe, but there are similarities. I talk about it in the video, so make sure you watch tomorrow's video if you're interested. Um, I love this candle. Now, the Swan Creek candles are not a, like, mess-free candle in terms of, like, you know, pulling out completely sometimes. So I do have some residue on the sides. I could wrap this in tin foil um, and get all this stuff down, and I might do that to clean it up, but... I will probably end up putting the last little bit of this when I get down here to the bottom in the candle crock anyway, so that stuff will eventually melt down no matter what. But um, I love this scent, you guys. I love this so much so, in fact, that I purchased um, some more drizzle melts in this scent. Um, those will be coming in the next couple days. Uh, maybe I'll do next Saturday's video. I'll include like a Swan Creek candle haul. I didn't buy any more candles. I was tempted, but I'm really trying hard to like burn through the candles that I have. So, um, I just ordered melts, but this is so good. You guys, this is absolutely delicious. Let's stick with Swan Creek for the moment being. This week I have also been warming downstairs the pumpkin vanilla. This is the drizzle melts. Um, do you guys see how big these are? They're enormous. So I only have to use one of these cubes. These are, I think, some of the best um, wax melts outside of Scentsy for me personally. I love these. They always perform. They last me at least two to three days. Um, having them on like 24 hours a day. I'm one of those people that once I turn my warmers on, I just let that fragrance go until it dies. I don't turn the warmer off at night when we go to bed or anything. I'd, I've never had a safety concern about that. I know some people are always, you know, wondering if that's safe to do. I, don't go by what I do. If you don't think it's safe, then turn your warmers off at night. But I, I don't have an issue with it. I never have. So, but anyway, I love this scent. This is really rich really heavy, really decadent, and it smells like pumpkin and almost the base that they use for their vanilla pound cake, but add in like some pumpkin, some some pure pumpkin, and then some slight like pumpkin pie type spices. Not a whole lot of cinnamon in this. It's more like nutmeg, hint of clove type of fall spices. This is rich. It's pretty sweet. 
but it is delightful and I love it. I love it. Okay, um, also in my candle crock, <laughs> by the way, you guys are messaging me in a lot of my like videos um, about the candle crock. Okay, from what I know, right now they are not making the candle crocks. You can still find them on Amazon and probably eBay for crazy prices. Don't pay that price for a candle crock. If you need to, just get one of those like hot plate warmers. You can get them at, um, you can get them at Michael's. But it's not the same because it's only heating like the very bottom, which would be fine for a candle like this where there's only a little bit of wax left. But if you have, say, like a full candle that you want to melt, the candle crock is ideal for that. But right now, it doesn't seem like they're making them. I have heard people say that they are just sort of re-engineering them and they may come back. I've heard other people say they've just done away with them altogether. So I'm sorry if you can't find them. I I don't know what to tell you. Either pay the crazy prices on Amazon or whatever, or just maybe wait a little while and maybe do make do with like the hot plates for now. But um, I'm definitely glad that I have the two candle crocs that I do. And if they ever futz out on me, I'll be really bummed to be totally honest. But anyway, I melted untouched candles, um, cinnamon and vanilla. So for the last little part of the candle, I went ahead and put it in there and it threw beautifully. This is exactly what it, the name implies. It is cinnamon and vanilla. It's really good. I loved burning this. This is a great candle in a smaller room. You can see there's not like a ton of, you know, um, wax to pull out in there. It's a, it's a smaller candle. But the throw on this is decent in my kitchen and dining room area. And I really love um, Untouched's uh, whole like marketing vibe. It's just very clean, very modern, very sleek. The scents that she has are absolutely gorgeous. I'll put the website for Untouched down below. Um, I think this is a company worth checking out, you guys, honestly. So really like that. Root Candle reached out and asked me if I was interested in reviewing a couple of their candles again. And I always say yes, because I myself purchased from Root. Um, I purchased most of my Root stuff at the flower market because I can get a wholesale there. Um, but I have placed orders from the website as well. And right now they have another um, uh, coupon code. I'll put the information down below. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. It's not like a commission based thing. I don't get anything if you guys use the code, but I will put it down below in the information box. Um, so definitely expand that box and see the information there. But they sent out the Illuminate Juniper Rosewood and the Root Salted Caramel, which I've both been burning this week. I am going to be doing an in-depth review of both of these. Um, I want to burn this a couple more times before I do the in-depth review. Um, it's burning really nice. I did make the mistake of not letting it pull out completely, but I'll be able to fix that. I'll just foil it for the next burn. But Initial burn is just my initial thoughts on it. This is a true, rich, sweet salted caramel. If you are a salted caramel fan like my husband is, this is the candle for you. Um, it's really unique. It is not exactly my first love, but I do actually really kind of like it. And here's my cat right on cue. <laughs> She has to be a part of this. You do have to stay right back there. Settle down. Um, so I'll have an in-depth review of this probably for you by next Sunday, let's say. <laughs> but anyway, it's, it is, if you like salted caramel, put this on your list to try. And it's, it's actually pretty strong. The first burn, I was like, whoa, this is, it's almost too strong for me because of how sweet it is. But I know some of you guys love that caramel smell. This, I did not think I was going to love this as much as I do. This is the Juniper Rosewood. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I've been ignoring these at the market for like years. I've always seen this Illuminate line and, or like the Seeking Balance, it's the Seeking Balance line. And I've always just kind of breezed past it in favor of these, <laughs> but this is amazing. This tiny, tiny little candle scented my entire enormous bedroom. Like, it was so impressive, you guys. Now, it wasn't a crazy strong scent, but it scented the whole bedroom in this really relaxing, floral, but also earthy, 
and also slightly sweet fragrance that was it was so relaxing you guys I was laying in bed watching I think it was like the Real Housewives of New Jersey which is so relaxing um, but I was watching that and I just I had this candle going and I was like I'm in heaven right now I'm watching one of my favorite TV shows I have this beautiful smell just surrounding me and the it has you can see like it has one of those wood wicks um, that little like crackling flicker I just I love this this is fantastic when I run out of this bad boy I'm the next time I go to the market I'm gonna pick up a couple of these because they're also beautiful gifts look at this tin like this would be a perfect thing to stick in someone's stocking for the holidays or just include with maybe like like a hand cream or something as like a teacher's gift here we go I think I just thought of Stella's <laughs> Stella's teacher's Christmas gift. Perfect. Um, anyway, love that. Um, let's keep going because I don't want this video to be too terribly long. I busted out one of my pumpkin coconuts from the, um, this is the wrong lid. It's not from this collection, but <sighs> why didn't they bring this back this year? The spiced uh, coconut milk, it's not the same. It's it's not the same. Um, I did buy that and I smelled it and I compared them side by side. Not the same candle. So they did not bring back pumpkin coconut at all this year, which is a massive major bummer because I love this. This smells like, it's like a cake with a hint of pumpkin and then fall spices. This, there's nothing fall about coconut to me, but this just works and it's delicious. I could actually probably burn this year round, but oh, it's so good. Loving that this week. And then the last couple things, um, let's talk Scentsy. Um, finished up a sweet plum pastry. I can't remember if I finished this last week. I wanna say that I had one more cube maybe that I finished up on like Monday or Tuesday. And then when I switched everything out, I switched it out in favor of um, apple butter frosting because ooh, this one's good if you are going to be placing a scentsy order with lisa or with your own scentsy lady anytime soon apple butter frosting is a must-have for fall because oh man this is just so good this does have some definite cinnamon notes in it but i have kind of a cinnamon aversion it's done really well in here and it's done really well in this candle too from untouched I don't like red hot cinnamon. I need my cinnamon to be like a real true, like you're opening a jar of cinnamon and smelling it. Um, more like a bakery cinnamon, if that makes sense. This has a bakery cinnamon. It has kind of an, like an apple, like an apple butter <laughs> or applesauce type note, I guess, almost. It just is so good. It's so good, you guys. Like I said, I have this melting in the upstairs of my house right now. I have three cubes left. I'm going to have to get another backup of this because I love this scent. Lisa loves this scent. She first introduced me to it, and mm, yeah. If you guys don't watch Lisa, um, I'll put her channel link down below. You've heard me. She's been on my channel before. She's my Scentsy lady. Um, I'll put her channel link down below. If you don't have a Scentsy person that you're working with, use Lisa. She's amazing. She is super honest, really straightforward with her like feedback about Scentsy stuff. She is one of those people who I appreciate because she's like, some things from Scentsy are amazing and some are not. <laughs> it's not all like sunshine and rainbows and kittens for her, which is fantastic because I just, I know that she's honest and we're like amazing friends. Like she's come to stay at my house. So like, I just, I love her. And if you guys are looking for a Scentsy person, check Lisa out. Okay, I think that's everything. I have some errands to run and things to do, so I gotta get going. I hope you guys are having a really great Saturday. Stay tuned for my review of this bad boy tomorrow. You'll wanna watch it. If you, like I said, are a fan of um, raspberry peach macaron, you, you might be interested in that. So anyway, have a great day, you guys. Leave me any questions down below in the comments, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.